So I got my eGPU set up right here. Uh, you need to use the DIY eGPU setup system and then a PCI compactor with the 36 uh, bus and a DSDDT uh, override in order to get this to work. But I'm running an R9 270X Sapphire that was refurbished, got it for a hundred bucks. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, I got uh, eGPU running here, uh, e or GPU Z. GPU Z is telling me what what I'm pulling here, and you can see it's an R9 200 series. Um, it's running an extreme 1600 by 900 heaven benchmark, and um, <clears throat> it's pulling about 2530 on the intense parts, um, which is pretty damn good when you consider that this is hooked up through a, a PCI a Gen 2 Sandy Bridge system. Um, and of course it's not using all the processing power and I got some more RAM to put in there um, right there but, um, anyway so it looks like it's utilizing about 97 to 99 percent usually about 95 so I think I'm hitting right about the bandwidth limit on this for the PCI Express card slot um, but that is pretty damn good. The whole reason for the setup is to get ready for <laughs> a poor man's get ready for Battlefront 3. <laughs> I gotta make sure I wanna wanna crank the graphics up on that biatch. So yeah, that is my eGPU setup. Um, pick yourself up a, a budget laptop from the eGPU candidate list on eBay used or, re or refurbished. Um, you can get that whole working setup basically for about uh, 200 250 and you get yourself one awesome gaming desktop wannabe kind of thing. You have to do some tinkering around here and there, but for the price that you would pay, it's an i7 chip and everything. I got that for 100 bucks, and that's 100 and you can get the power supply for 40 50 bucks, and uh, the, the G GPU adapter system you can get for about... Uh, 50 bucks. That's a PE4C um, with a 3.0, so it supports 3.0 express card slots. So when I finally have a 3.0 express card slot, I can utilize that. So uh, I got a lot of the stuff for free. Um, so yeah, um, that's fortunately because of refurbing laptops and stuff. But anyway. Um, another laptop you can do is the ThinkPad L420. That is not as well known, but that's also on the system compatibility, or the system um, candidate list for eGPUs, and that's a budget one. Sandy Bridge again, the Sandy Bridges are cheap to come by right now, and businesses are refurbishing them, um, or getting rid of them upgrading, so you can get the, that 14 inch laptop, the ThinkPad um, L420, or just Lenovo L420. Um, you can get that, which has an i5 25 something, and you can upgrade that to an i7, or at least you should be able to. Um, and you can get those for about 80 bucks right now, working just without hard drive. Pop your own hard drive in, you got yourself an eGPU candidate system ready to rock. <laughs> Although, this is pretty sweet. The 2560p is only a 12 inch laptop. So, it's it's small, but deadly. So, it's going to be one of those funny sleepers. I'll be like, yeah, I got my laptop run, guys. And they'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then I'll be cranking up the graphics. But anyway, I'm just looking forward to Battlefront uh, 3. Um, runs Crisis on very high at about uh, Crisis 3 at about uh, 30 to 40 frames per second so a little uh, it's mid-range but uh, you know it's on very high settings that's pretty damn good for uh, eGPU system uh, when express card 3.0 when I get my hands on one of those kind of laptops this will definitely be a, um, using its full potential um, for the time being it looks like the graphics card's hitting right about its potential limits anyway so we will see you down the road um uh, i'd be interested to see in the comments what kind of laptops you can get for under 200 bucks that would be uh, express card 3.0 compatible and can run an eGPU system but anyway guys thanks for watching and 
eGPU system. If you got any questions around your R9 270X or another R9 uh, um, on a eGPU candidate list, I can go ahead and comment and see what I can do to help out. Um, but all I can say is if you run an R9, you almost always need um, to get the DIY eGPU set up. It makes your life so much easier. Alright guys, thanks for watching.